Hey folks, Mike and McGee here. In today's video, we're going to look at something that I haven't done for quite a number of years. And the reason I haven't done it in quite a number of years is because this don't happen to me here in Tennessee very often. A couple videos ago, you saw I killed an extremely fat doe. The fat on her butt was literally this thick right here. Unbelievable. This is an inch thick fat. That just isn't very common here with deer because if it's a doe, usually the fawn from the previous year has just drained her of her energy and she's used up that fat reserve. If it's a buck, he has chased does relentlessly and not eaten as much as normal and he has used up his fat stores. So to kill a deer with fat like this, is kind of rare. What you have to have, you have to have an older doe. She has to miss having a fawn and she'll put on fat like this. This goes to show you how much energy goes into making milk and keeping a baby alive. So what do you do with fat like this? This fat is hard as a rock. You don't want that going in your arteries. You don't want that coating the top of your mouth. We tried back when I was a kid, we fried some potatoes in this stuff no good i mean you talk about coating the top of your mouth your whole mouth goes greasy this stuff is, is heart attack city so what in the world do you do with it well i can think of several things that hard fat would be good for making candles making soap but what we're going to do today is even easier than all that we're going to make one of the finest leather boot sealant if you've ever heard of a product called snow seal it's basically the same thing as this right here. If you kill a deer that's got all this fat, it's time at that point to make your move. Maybe where you live, you can kill deer that's this fat all the time. We processed this deer the other day and I said, I'm gonna save that fat, that's unbelievable. If it's hard like this in its raw form, when you render it out and it becomes a grease and you let it sit and cool, it's gonna get hard, just as hard as it was in its raw form when it's in the jar. When you get it melted and you put it on your leather boots, it's going to waterproof those boots because it's gonna penetrate into that dry leather and then harden off and you've got a wonderful seal. So here's how you go about turning raw fat straight off of a deer into some really nice leather weatherproofing Take your fat, cut it up into small pieces. You don't want those pieces to be very big. The bigger they are, the longer it's gonna to have to cook. You could put this through a grinder and literally be doing yourself a favor, but today we're not gonna be grinding it, we're going to be cutting it up. Now, you say, McGee, why don't you grind it? Well, that's a lot of work. By the time we get the grinder all cleaned back up for this tiny amount of fat, eh. The boys ain't that keen on cleaning up. Just gonna finish cutting this up in these little pieces, half inch or three quarters of an inch squares. And we're gonna get this thing on the stove and we're gonna melt this out and get it cooking. Let's do it. We got it all cubed up. As you can see, it fits in this pan just uh, really nice. So we're gonna get in here and put this on the stove. Now you don't have to do it on a wood cook stove. If you got propane, you can do it on literally any kind of heat. Just get it good and hot, guarantee you it's gonna melt out. When this gets fully rendered, we're gonna come back and we're gonna see what it looks like. All right, look what we've got here. This right here would be considered cracklings. If they were pork, they'd be really good to make into cornbread. But these here will clog a body's arteries up faster than you could say Jack Spratt could eat no fat. So I'm gonna just throw them out in the woods. They'll actually be good for the ground. All right, that's got it. Now, 
What we're gonna do before this grease cools off and hardens, we're gonna put it in this jar now. This is very hot, so I'm just gonna pour like a little drizzle a little bit down in there. I sort of preheated this jar a little bit, but I'm sure it's cooled off now. So I'm just gonna let that grease go in there and heat this jar up little by little because I guarantee you this jar would crack and bust into pieces if I just dumped it all in there. No doubt about it in my mind. Now this, what you'll see as I fill this on up, this grease is a little bit brown because I let it get too hot. I didn't pay it a whole lot of attention because we're not going to be eating it. And I let it get a little too hot. So it's a tiny bit brown. When it hardens, it's going to turn back white again with a slight brown tint. But that doesn't affect your boots at all. So I'm going to just go ahead and fill this on up now. Just like this. And I have a pair of boots that's going to be on display here. In just a second, we are going to grease these boots up good for David. He's going on a week-long trapping expedition with two of his buddies camping, and they're going to be trapping. All right, this is hotter than a $3 pistol. We're going to put this over here. We have just enough left to do these boots which David has been so kind to bring. And I'm gonna give you a little demonstration of how to do a pair of boots. It's very simple. As you know, most of your snow and mud and water, it's gonna hit you right around where the sole hits the upper. That's where you're gonna have your biggest issue. So, so just fill that gap in really good and then just get the upper all the leather upper like this. And as you see, this is not hard. This is not hard. Now, it is hot. I can feel it on my fingers a little bit. If you had a brush that you could brush it in, it might be a little bit better on the fingers. I'm just using that sole to rake this out so it fills them up, fills them cracks in real good. And while he's trapping, he'll be wearing this. Those animals that he's trapping may smell that deer grease and may come from all around. He might catch way more animals than his buddies simply because of this. Who knows? All right, folks, there is exactly how you can go about taking a deer and using it to Fix your boots up. I mean, it wouldn't have to be boots, any kind of leather, saddles, bridles, harnesses, whatever you've got that's leather that you want to waterproof and you want it to be something that's going to harden up and stick right in there. I'm talking about good. This here is amazing. And as it dries, if you see some more cracks starting to form in this old leather, if it's old, run you another batch in there like that. It'll just keep soaking it up. And I'm telling you right now, this old cast iron stays warm, which keeps that grease nice and melted so that you can just continue this. And you don't have it hardening in the pan because if it's a very thin pot, it's gonna get cold and it's gonna harden on you and it's not gonna work out easy. But this here, folks, this is unbelievable. The last time I killed a deer that had this much fat on it was probably 2000 and Ten, something like that so we're looking at a few years ago and I've just been waiting to get myself another big fat fat one to do this and so I'm pretty excited this here will last me several years that's that's quite a few years worth of boot treatment and that's what that is you can do it with any kind of fat but pork fat just don't get hard as hard as deer Beef would be second best, sheep, possibly goat, I don't know, but deer, in my opinion, is number one, and it's free. If you don't consider the cost of gear, ammunition, rifles, and an expensive deer hunting license, possibly a deer lease, maybe you've bought your own land, never mind about it being free. That's all we've got for you today. We hope you have a great day. We'll see you on the next video.